quality guards. They space the floor. They're going to force you to make a decision. Do you want to check the three-point shot of the drive? And I'm Corey Fisher. You might want to get a hand up. Yeah, Scotty, just active hands. Just, you know, cannot be casual with your passes. And then he wants to do this. He wants to get defenders reacting on their heels. Just waits for everybody to fill lanes, finds the open three-point shooter. And then you have got to mark and identify on the perimeter against Villanova. Here's Reynolds. But it's a three there as he was uncovered. Here's King, a beautiful pass. He's going to be fun to watch the next couple of years as Pena scores and is fouled. It's a hard drive to the rim, getting white jerseys reacting and then finding his teammate. Pretty stuff by Taylor King. As Pena throws it down off the inbound pass. Well, terrific execution. That's a case where St. John's is concerned about the multiple screen. Short rebound by Corey Stokes. Spins and scores. And a St. John's foul. They can win when they don't have their best stuff. But how about this nice looking spin move to take contact? And, and the hardest part about this move is understanding how to get your shoulder square to the rim and having a feel to pressure. Villanova puts offensive pressure on you. A guy who goes right to the rim. Fisher comes back with a steal. One on two. Finishes with the left hand. Mason off the dribble, short with a three-point try, Yuru with a rebound, and Burrell went down hard. So it's five on four for Villanova. Reynolds all the way, slaps it home off the glass. Speed kills, and Malik Waynes has it. The crossover dribble, you can see Coker. I mean, he's just too physically big to stay with the foot speed of Waynes. Here at the Garden, seven seconds remaining in the half. Scotty Reynolds with a hand in his face, hits a two. Villanova within one. Villanova has not led since early in the first half, and it was 14-12, and they get a great backdoor pass here to Redding for the basket. Nice touch pass by Pena. Quickly ahead to Kennedy, he'll challenge Pena, and a jump ball call by Bob Donato. It'll go to Villanova on the possession arrow. Excellent defense in transition by Villanova. Reynolds on the drive. How many times have you seen him get in the lane like that in his four years at Villanova? Another switch where you get maybe the, the wrong guy checking Scotty Reynolds, and he goes right to the rim. We love guys who will rebound out of their area. Look at Wayne's drive and score. And Reynolds in transition. Spins out the three. You rule the offensive rebound. Can't stick it in. Got it back. One more try, it goes. There's my point. Villanova as uh, Reynolds comes up with a steal here, finds Armwood with the stop. 10 0 Villanova run to open up a 58 49 lead. It's about 40 minutes, and I mentioned the turnovers at the half. Careless uh, pass leads to numbers for Villanova, and Armwood finishes with authority. I mean, how about that play? He does not have a great angle. That's just great athleticism. That second look shows how special that play was. Redding with a good luck. Sutton with the finish. 12-0 run for Villanova. And the largest lead of the game now for the Wildcats. Defender turns his back, commits solely to him, and finds the open man. Pretty stuff. Here's Reynolds off the bounce. So tough. And the Big East player of the week, Scotty Reynolds, now with 19 points. There's been a number of times where you've seen Villanova do this, just this, twice on the pipes. Looks like St. John's is going to get an easy one, and somebody, whether it's King or Armwood, has an answer. No, sir. The bottom of the rim, and the stop by Armwood. Great pass, Reynolds. And the Nova fans here at the Garden on their feet as the lead swells back to 10.